Hello. So let's say you already set up a composure with a track camera. So everything's going fine, except if you want to put a foreground CG object, the object will always stay behind the media plate. So the normal um, workflow for Composure is you have to add the objects that is in front of the media plate to a layer. So if you go here, see contents, you will see the sphere is in this foreground layer. And we'll have to add a new layer element, a CG layer element, it's called foreground. And in here, we'll have to put that in front of the um, media plate, but only the, the objects in the layer. So we'll have a capture actor here and foreground. So that's what's going to appear in the final comp. The way to do this is you're going to, to add a texture sample foreground. We're going to over that to whatever we already have. And you'll, 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 you'll have that in the final comp always in front of the uh, media plate. But it's, it's not dynamic. So if, if you have your camera moving around or uh, let's say a particle object moving around or the, um, the actor itself um, in the media plate walking around this will, will not do so we'll, we'll we'll need to find a way to um to, to make this dynamic okay so let's remove this put this back so we have two ways to achieve that so the first one is um is using the um, co uh, co uh, composite plane, which is the BP Sin camera object. So let's turn off Composure for now. Okay, there's multiple ways to track um, an object. So you can follow um, all the various uh, tutorials. The way I do it, you can download my um, uh, tracker um, project in GitHub. The way I do it is I have a, a filtered um, tracker. So I'm just going to point this to tracker 71, which is my other uh, tracker here. So that's on the floor. I have all this um, filtered um, object that pro processes the stabilization. So you just have to drag um, six of them for each tracker. It's not the cleanest solution, but um, I don't have time to clean that up yet. And there's an offsetter to um, so you can adjust the position of the track object relative to the to the tracker itself. So I'm going to rename this actor. All right, and um, we're going to need to drag a plane for for the actor to uh, to be projected into. 
right in the offsetter we can select the parent which is this one and the child which is the actor plane all right so you can cycle it so if you notice this will be tracked so uh, but we want it to always stay um facing um, uh, the, the 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 camera here so i do have here look uh, a look at option so um, i'm just going to select our camera so if you notice it is always looking to the camera but it's not um <clears throat> on the same uh, angle so we'll need to adjust that um i think it's y minus 90 there you go right so it will always look at the camera so let's put this here and i do have another option for absolute height so um we want that to stay um, right by the eye level so let's say a hundred uh, a meter and we enable that absolute height so no matter wh um, where you move it it will only move in the XY um, uh, location and not the height just gonna adjust this a little bit oh not here Gonna adjust the plane a little bit. Okay, that's slightly better. I think we need to push the absolute height a little bit lower. Yep. Okay, so the next one you have to do is you want to use the um, BP Sin Camera Proj, which is a uh, composite plane um, blueprint. So you're going to select this projection and you want to project um, the media texture into it so if you see here we already have that is projected to the plane so if you're moving this around it's um it's gonna be um the projection is always gonna face the camera um but it exists in the cg space so if you put a sphere in there it will be correct um, uh, depth wise right you um, just have to do the, the keying here with the mask and keyer and you need to select the the key color okay Okay, that's not that's not the best key right there. All right, I think, I think that's it. But as you as you know, um, this this plugin, uh, composite plane is not exactly um, uh, flexible in terms of keying um, if you open up the blueprint um, i think it uses the composite plane so i think it uses this diff, diff, um, color here 
which is pretty good but um you can't do like multiple passes um uh, through it if you want to do a color adjustment and in that sense uh, composure is more um much more flexible to do that so um um the uh, the second way to um a, a achieve um a foreground uh, masking um we can take a look at uh composure <clears throat> 